Ambush Buck? You're a pretty obscure hero even for this show. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 strangest DC superheroes. Question. No one can know about this. Or what? You'll incinerate me too. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the lesser known, downright bizarre DC comic superheroes. Who's your favorite DC weirdo? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Detective Chimp. Originally a circus act, Detective Chimp, or Bobo T. Chimpanzee, was transformed into an intellectual being upon his encounter with the Fountain of Youth. Since whoever stole the Golden Skull is unwilling to come forward, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Isn't that right, Detective Chimp? Following the death of his owner, Fred Thorpe, poor Chimpy had to find a way to make ends meet. So, he became a detective, complete with a Sherlock-esque penchant for tobacco and alcohol. Excellent detective work, old chum. Don't patronize me. Oh, chum. Though you may not have heard of the primate, he has been around the DC Comics world since 1952, with his debut appearance in Adventures of Rex the Wonder Dog. His superpowers are essentially his intellectual prowess and immortality. <laughs> So basically Sherlock Holmes, but he's a chimp and can't die. Number 9. Matter Eater Lad in 1962, DC Comics introduced a superhero in adventure comics that we would all know and love for decades. Cam, good to see you, buddy. Hey, thanks, but it's, uh, it's Matter Eater Lad now. Cool name. Yes, that's right. It's Matter Eater Lad. Wait, you haven't heard of him? Take a wild guess as to what his superpower is. Why, he eats matter, of course. Tenzil Kem from the planet Bismol has the ability to eat anything. We can't help but wonder if the name of his planet has something to do with a certain pink liquid digestive aid. If the superhuman digestion isn't enough, he can always use his super tech sunglasses, which have multiple functions, including a lie detector. If anything, however, he can always eat his enemies. I'm happy to announce that the newest members of the Legion of Superheroes are Matter Eater Lad and Starboy. Number 8. Dead Man. DC seems to have a thing for very literal superhero names. Dead Man is, well, he's a dead man. Formerly named Boston Brand, he was a trapeze artist in the circus after running away from a troubled home. He met his untimely death at the hands of an assassin who shot him down during his trapeze act. It was a weekend show, full house. Boston was in the middle of his death-defying act when... Holy coincidence, Batman! That man's hurting me. Sweet. But we digress. His spirit remains to bring justice to whomever may need it. There's a catch, though. He's a ghost, so he can't really interact with anything alive. He can enter the bodies of mortals and control them in a sort of possession. I'm gonna make you pay. <gasps> He became a member of Justice League Dark, fighting alongside John Constantine and Zatanna, among other weirdos. Number 7. The Creeper This isn't the type of creeper you may be imagining. DC's The Creeper hasn't met Chris Hansen. Who is he? Where did he come from? What diabolical scheme is he plotting even now? I'm Jack Ryder. Join me as we answer these questions and more on Joker. The madness behind the laughter. He has a few different origin stories, something not unheard of in the world of comics. In his original incarnation in 1968, he was the result of a science experiment. The story has been revised several times since. Either way, he possesses the body of Jack Ryder, a talk show host and journalist in Gotham. Oh, that was unexpected. I better slow down here. Try to figure out logically what's going on. Whoa, that hurt! Okay, we'll come back to that. He's quite powerful. He can fly, control minds, has superhuman strength, and the ability to possess weaker souls. His kryptonite is sunlight, so he can only come out at night to fight crime and intimidate his enemies. I am... The Creeper! So tell me. From one sociopath to another, where is the Joker? Oh, and he is pretty creepy in the cartoons. Number 6. Mogo the Living Planet 
Mogo is a planet. Not to be confused with Marvel's Ego, DC's living planet character is actually just a planet, portraying itself occasionally through holograms. Mogo is also a Green Lantern, which at this point seemingly can be anything. It seems even a smallpox virus a la Liesel Pond. The sentient planet is in charge of reassigning the Green Lantern rings of deceased members. He might not socialize, but he sure knows how to make an entrance. It is also an actual planet that does planet things, such as regulate climate for its alien inhabitants all while watching over them. Some creeper vibes right there. When it feels like it, Mogo can rearrange the greenery on itself to form the Green Lantern symbol, which honestly wouldn't make for a challenging hedge maze. Oh my god. Number 5. Animal Man Another example of lazy titles, Animal Man was first introduced in a 1965 issue of Strange Adventures. You did it! You stopped him! Due to some accidental radiation exposure from a crashed alien spaceship, actor and stuntman Bernard Baker was imbued with the powers to use the abilities of any animal, as well as communicate with animals, mimic their cries, and emit force blasts for some reason. He can also control animals by entering their minds. Honestly, it's safe to say that Animal Man, no matter how silly his name may sound, is a force to be reckoned with. The possibilities for his powers are basically endless. Oh, and he's not neutered. He has a family, a wife and two kids. Number 4. Flex Mentalo Bro, do you even lift? Well, Flex Mentalo definitely does, and it pays off in more ways than one. Flex has a superpower known as Muscle Mystery. When he flexes his muscles, he can alter reality. Certain muscles can do certain things, such as allow him to survive in the vacuum of space. He also has super strength, durability, and stamina. His actual abilities are a little vague, but he can somehow affect the physics of things. For example, he once briefly turns the Pentagon into a circle. How did he get his powers? Why, a man with a TV for a head gave him a coupon to get a book called Muscle Mystery for You. Dr. Saucer's attempted robbery of the local aquarium was thwarted by our very own Man of Muscle Mystery. <laughs> he read it and poof! Physics-defying physique. Number 3. Ambush Bug. Erwin Schwab, or Ambush Bug, is an interestingly confusing character. Someone's gotta stop him! This sounds like a job for Ambush Bug! His past is a little muddled, as he apparently suffers from mental issues, thus making his origin story ambiguous. He claims to have found the Ambush Bug suit after it fell from the planet Schwab, conveniently his last name, along with a sentient Argyle sock which became his enemy. You do not understand the forces you're playing with, babe. You heard right. His arch enemy is an evil sock. He mainly teleports as a superpower and can break the fourth wall, meaning he can read the internal dialogues of other characters. You gotta listen to me. One fictional hero to another. That's crazy talk. We're not fictional. Yes, you are. Me too. But the difference is, I know I'm not real. He's got issues, but generally fights for good. It's entirely possible he was created by an overworked writer. Number 2. Danny the Street This is another bizarre one. The character was created in 1990 and is a sentient street. No, really a stretch of road with a consciousness. Apparently, if they were human, they could be likened to a drag queen. Inspiration for the name came from real-life drag performer Danny LaRue. Danny teleports around the world and can integrate themselves into any geography, providing shelter for the needy, among other things. Danny the street? Danny's on the street? I think she's saying Danny is a street. The street's a he. Danny's genderqueer, and they use non-binary pronouns. Danny is composed of many macho-type stores, hardware, sports, etc., yet adorned with frilly decor as a way to question heroic masculinity. 
So basically, imagine RuPaul if she was a street. Does wearing heels while walking down Danny Street cause pain? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Brother Power the Geek, a hippie mannequin brought to life by a bolt of lightning and given superpowers. The Weird, a former slave from an alternate dimension who possessed a dead man's body on Earth. Red Bee, a man with the ability to control bees and knock out enemies with a stinger gun and wild leg wear. Arm Fall Off Boy, a lazily named character who can detach his limbs and hit bad guys with them. Infectious Lass, a highly infectious, literally disease-spreading alien lady. All right, Infectious Lass, whenever you're ready. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Negative Man Darn that pesky radiation, always creating superheroes and villains. Larry Trainer was exposed to radiation while test piloting. The result being a heinous disfigurement and, of course, superpowers. He wears bandages to cover his horrid face. He can emit a negatively charged energy, being known as Negative Man, who does the fighting for him. This isn't that great, however, because it leaves the human body weak and vulnerable. It's also quite dangerous, and he can only release the energy for 60 seconds at a time. Otherwise, he risks death. The spirit kept me alive. Well, what are you waiting for? Get the hell back in there! No, no, don't. Marvel nerds know that Doctor Strange gets at least 24 hours out of body before any risks, so Negative Man is kind of useless unless the fight is extremely short. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.